10 seconds and counting. I, S. Will's back. I just got so excited about that. Yeah, I saw no, S. Will in the so comments. I'm so happy to have you back. It wasn't the same without you. No, it totally was not. It wasn't. Even though he gave us the heads up, we were like, all right, we're going to get through this without S. Will. But it still wasn't. He's here. <laughs> He's back. It's nice to see you, S. Will. Thank you so much for joining us. We've got, of course, Eva Llama in the house, Bat13. Hi, Eva Llama. Hi, Bat13. Bob Richardson. I think someone named James, but I didn't catch where he was from. Hi, James. But nice to see you, James. We're glad to have you. It's Friday. I'm so glad to be here with you guys. Chris, we've got Chris. Chris, good morning. And Michael, hi Michael. Right, over Hot Tommy up first on the grill this morning. Congrats, Hot Tommy. <laughs> the one only Hot Tommy. <laughs> and if any people said that's the very backyard barbecue telling him yet, you gotta go follow him. Yeah, exactly. We just call him Hot Tommy. Because <laughs> you'll see, pretty... if you head over, you'll see what we're talking about. <laughs> that's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> I know, it doesn't, you don't, you don't gotta really think no. that one through. <laughs> okay, I just realized I have um, butter in the grill still. It's warming up, so I'm just gonna <laughs> grab that for one. And happy Friday, we have PGH smoke. That's John, John, how are you? We're coming to you live from Barbecue Park. It was supposed to rain tonight, but it's holding Shh. off. Yeah, it was, no one's going to Yes, I know. I feel like I could have just jinxed it. No. But. <laughs> okay, so my butter's not really there yet. I put it in the grill to warm up because we need some melted butter. Locked and loaded menu today. I have the hard part. I've got, look at all these ingredients. Oh my I'm goodness, just putting it guys, out there. we're at like two minutes in, Key's already saying that she has the hard part. Just putting it out there. So if you're on YouTube, make sure you say a big howdy to Barbecue Mama. She's hanging out over there like she always is. Hi, Barbecue Mama. Hi, so Barbecue is Mama. Will Plunk. Will Plunk, say hi to Will Plunk. He's over there too. Yep, so I'm um, just a little FI too, guys. If you're hearing a little crackling on the issue, we have a part coming and it hasn't come yet, so we are fixing that issue later today. And Eva Llama just said this stream's lagging a little bit. It's nice with us. We have had a little bit of technical issues today, but we're gonna, you guys know how it is. Every live, we're just gonna try and roll with it and see what happens. Oh, of course. <laughs> so we've got a fantastic menu lined up for you guys. I'm so excited. Oh, wait a second. I almost forgot this. No, week. we cannot forget. You guys know how we kick it off over here. We have Lee in the house. He's joining us. He's saying raining this way, so it will probably start later. Okay, so it is heading our way today. Lee, don't be quiet, <laughs> okay? I don't want to hear that. We're dry for now, and that's all that, that matters. Okay, so guys, are you guys ready to kick it off the way that we kick it off every single Friday? Key almost forgot. Sometimes I almost forget, too. I, are you I'm, ready? I'm, I don't forget the lyrics, because all I always right. do, too. Let's do this. Here we go. Friday, Friday. Yes, it's Friday. Oh. Yeah. Good day, everybody. You know, I don't know if this is true or not, but without the leaves and the trees, I'm feeling like this is a lot louder. Me this, too. Okay. Like, Me too. I thought so too. And like, I'm like, oh, okay, this is echoing. Let's just, you know, keep it down Let's a notch. Just, yeah, blow that down a little bit. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get the butter off the grill. I am making. I got a delicious cornbread on the go for you guys because, guys, we're making bison burnt ends today, <sighs> and what goes great with burnt ends is some cornbread. So today we are yes. actually doing bison burnt ends. So we know many people in the barbecue family have probably tried burnt ends before. And if you haven't, you gotta give them a try. But typically they're made with brisket or you can also make them with pork belly. But today we're putting bison spin on it because every time that we come at you guys with a bison recipe, we get constant comments being like what else can you make with bison yeah so we are on a mission to show you guys all delicious creative ways that you can cook with bison yeah and what's good about making burnt ends with bison is this particular cut is specifically made for slow cooking yes so they're designed for something like like burnt ends and let me tell you these smell incredible i made the recipe earlier this week Again, I'm just gonna try to get a little bit on that. Okay. Oh my goodness, guys. Brian, Give this gal some credit. Brian, take a look. <laughs> Who's doing some chopping? <laughs> Who's got gotcha? you? You want Brian? Happy Fridays. So I'm like, Brian, look. Take a look. I wouldn't hear Brian talking to me. 
about now, that. Now, Alton is in the house, and Alton is asking us if we enjoyed the shenanigans that he was showing to the world last Friday at Barbecue Boulevard because he had a bunch of barbecue family members over to his neck of the woods, and he just said that jug was flowing because they were drinking from this huge jug, and oh my goodness. This? I was like, we got to get in on that. What was, may I ask? What was it? Do I Alton, know? let us know what was it. Was it a homemade concoction? Because it was. I get started on the cornbread. And I've just got some green onions. And green onions are mandatory in a cornbread, of course. But I personally. Sure. I agree. Going on. So I'm going to get started. This is an entire bunch of green onions. Maybe a little overkill. Yeah, but that's, I feel like you're, it, it adds to color. It adds to a great texture. Yeah. So I'm right there with you on that. And guys, I'm doing the bison burnt ends. So these already have been pre-smoked. Okay. So bison always, or burnt ends always start with meat that has already been smoked. We don't have time to smoke these today and do the, the actual burnt. So these, the, this is the um, bison cubes that you can get either at Costco, at Longo's, at Sobeys. You can find it all over the place. And these are one hour. One hour. And then, on the ninja. Guys, if this on, a, on another time, it's going to take a little longer than that. Yeah, a little longer, but we did, um, you'll notice a change to the set. We've got a ninja with us now. Because we, do. we made them on the Ninja, although we're not making those on the Ninja today because I'm kind of taking over the Ninja with the cornbread. <laughs> but they were smoked for an hour. And then um, we're going to, the joy of burnt ends is that once you add all the fixins, they just need to warm through again. Get like, they just need yes. to stew. They get, yeah, <laughs> stew. They, they stew up. They get succulent. They get really tender. Very tender. Basically, very, very, very simple. People are jumping us over on YouTube here. Let us know if there's any issues on YouTube, guys. And um, I saw someone just said Bison Rock. Yes, it definitely does. does. Now, Alton saying the joke is known worldwide now. I have a video on my channel where Jean shows how to make it. Lots of vodka, lots of tequila, some OJ, and sweet and sour. Ooh. Ooh, that sounds really that good. That sounds delicious. Go, Jean, go. <laughs> It was Dwayne who said bison. Yeah, so, so did Evil Mama. Yes. It certainly does. Evil so guys, Mama. You know what else rocks? Uncle Steve times two in this. Yes. Uncle Steve, you, you smoked this with Uncle Steve's rub. I did, yeah. We used the competition cow on this one because we want you, if you're using, if you're making bison, it's really great to use a rub that is made for um, red meat. Don't use something that's like a sweet, like for mm -hmm. like ribs or anything like that. You want something that's going to be able to hold up to the robustness of the flavor. Okay, that is true. So, guys, Brian said he tried Insta and he said there's no audio over there. The people that are joining us on Insta, can you guys let us know if you can hear us? And I'm just going to go in with some our Uncle Steve's barbecue sauce, and I'm just eyeballing this. I like them saucy, so I like that a lot here. And barbecue and beers, that's Dave. Hi, Dave. He's saying, that's why I stay on Instagram. Okay, so I'm going to assume that the audio is okay for you, Dave. Is that, can I assume correctly here? Hey, Roger. He's saying, get it on. <laughs> Hi, Roger. Roger, what's going on? Happy Friday. Okay, and then, as if you couldn't get sweeter already, we're going in with lots of barbecue sauce, as you guys can see. Then, then we are going to go in some honey. Okay, so the honey is from our friends over at P. East River honey. We can't get that for actually. And I posted to our that not that exact honey, but Peace River honey is awesome. I put um I made a like a, a toast with peanut butter on it and banana and I put their hot honey on top. Ooh. And it was so good. Now you guys will see I put okay, great day. Russell. Russell's joining us. Hi Russell. Hi Russell. He's saying the most beautiful ladies in barbecue. Russell, you're such a sweetheart. And on that note, I'm gonna Put this down for a second and i need to give russell a slow clap yes congratulations russell and thank you so much for posting about your winnings because russell's the latest one to win our big box of bison yeah he did an unboxing that was actually incredible he yeah. i was like i didn't know that's how much meat came in that thing i know and russell won won himself a um bison water bottle too like a um like a, what is this called? A thermos? It's, it's not a water bottle. It is a water. Like, it can be a water bottle. But we're doing another um, giveaway at the end of this month. And you win yourself one of these too. And it's really nice to have out here hot, cold beverages, whatever you want. 
Keith is over here. He's saying we can hear you on Instagram. Keith, thank Hi, you so Keith. much. Eva Llama is on Insta and YouTube, and he's saying, I got some Carolina <laughs> Reaper honey sent to me. Okay, that is tough stuff. Ooh. That's going to be tough stuff. I don't know if you'd be one to put that no. on your banana. <laughs> no, because this one is just lightly spicy. That's the thing about it. It's just, it's just kind of spicy. No, I don't know what was said, but S. Will thrown it out of that said. We missed you, S. Will. No, we totally the evil over for nobody ever. He did. Definitely did well. <laughs> Evil Llama always does well. Those That's what two, she said. Those two always do it. All right, so we've got our green onions chopped up, adding it to our cornbread here. See, look, even just that, you can tell that's going to look incredible. Oh, yeah. Look at that face. Ew, she's looking. Good. That's my happy <laughs> face on a Friday. I'll show Instagram. <laughs> just so far, we've just got some cornmeal and some green onions chopped up in there. Hi, Awesome A. Awesome A is joining us on Insta. How are you doing today, Awesome A? Do you have a little Kakoa with you? Our fuzzy headed little angel man, Kakoa. Hi, hi, Kakoa. <laughs> Kakoa, I don't know if we can hear this. Alton is so sweet. He's like, Kiki keeps bringing the fire hair colors. Aw, Alton, I didn't change my hair color, but thank you for and noticing Scoggin that. Scoggin said he has COVID again, Scoggin. We are so sorry to hear that. We hope that you get better soon, because that is certainly no fun. Oh, no. But you know what? I have heard of multiple people getting it a few times, and like that's, that's the name of the game with yes. COVID. It's like anything else. Yes. Okay, so I am adding in uh, quite a few pickled jalapenos. But those aren't that spicy, those ones. They're not, and I personally love a um, pickled element to a cornbread because it cuts through the richness. We're adding in quite a bit of rich ingredients here, and you could definitely use just regular um, fresh jalapenos, but I like the pickle because it, you do notice it in here. You're getting that balance of like a little bit of tart, a little mm -hmm. bit of sweet. So Matt is saying run instead, and he's saying the fee is much better over here. So guys, I don't, I really don't know what's happening over on um, YouTube, but if you want to come over to Insta, we'll have you here. <laughs> I don't, I'm not quite sure. So guys, bar with lives. barbecue pops is on it, and he is not. You guys know he doesn't stop until he gets it figured out. So. He's on it. it now, I just look... added some butter to our bison burnt ends. So if anyone is thinking, guys, is that is that like a diet meal? This certainly isn't. This is definitely, this would fall under more of like tree type meal. Yep. So this is something that you only have once in a while because it's so rich, it's so succulent. You only actually need a couple bites of these. Yeah, well, that's what you say, but I know a lot of people that would want True. to eat that entire True. tray. True, and once in a while, that ain't gonna hurt you. Okay, so wait, Barbecue Pops, I will let you know, it's looking like um, it's trying to connect to Wi-Fi. I don't know if that helps, but I think that might be the issue. It's it's trying to connect to Wi-Fi on our on YouTube. So hopefully we can get that figured out, girl. Uh, guys, Ralph and Hattie girls from Texas. Hi, Ralph. Nice to see See you around. Oh, Tommy. Maddie and Kiki are our little sisters. Should we be talk talking about like this? I missed that conversation. <laughs> All right, so I will mention the with the if you're eating because it's a great a little bit spicy, but not super, super spicy. Through cider, a lot of people like add apple juice to their burn. Year. Yes. That smells incredible already. Russell's saying, I have the greatest job. I can watch out work on our show room. He actually shared that with us at the um, barbecue competition that we were at. And we laughed out loud at it. We we're like, Russell, are you kidding me? You must be listening to or watching that on mute in the showroom of because he works at a barbecue like sales store, basically. And he was like, nope, I turned you guys up. I turned you up loud. So like, hello to Chuck Yes, Russell, hello, you... Russell, what is it called again? Because we want to say hello to everybody watching over there. Right, buying some Christmas gifts already. <laughs> hey, you over there, what are you shopping for? Are you shoplifting? <laughs> <laughs> Let's scare people. <laughs> they don't know. They're like, uh, who are these two weirdo girls? Can they see into the store? <laughs> Cass joined her on YouTube and she's saying hi to Barbecue Mama and we have Sleeper Barbecue saying ladies hello. 
and Trumpet Master. Trumpet Master was so nice to see you hanging out with Alton last Friday. Guys, we had we definitely had a FOMO vibe. We I got wanted so to jealous. be there. If people don't know what FOMO stands for, it stands for fear of missing out. <laughs> we missed out. I want to hang out with Alton. Yeah. I want to try Jean's uh, delect delectableness. <laughs> Me, after hearing what's in it, oh, I totally do too. Okay, so guys, that's basically it for burnt ends. So all of this is going to get succulent and juicy oh. and tender. We're going to wrap this up and throw this on a grill. And ideally, this would go for two hours. But we're not. We're gonna go for as long as we can here. And we actually like when you're. You can smoke them again for another two hours at 250. But because we're trying to get it so we can have Maddie taste one in, during this live, we've got it a bit higher. So yes. we're gonna have them over indirect heat. Let them hang out in there. You want to get like a nice little bubble to them. Yeah. Let them reduce down in that deliciousness. So Austin moved over to Insta too, and he said the feed is better. Hot Tommy's over here. He's saying, damn, Maddie, look at those eyes. <laughs> Hot Tommy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Make a gal blush. And Evil Llama saying, yeah, we get close to Maddie over here. We need a close-up of Kiki over there, too. No. Who wants a close-up of Kiki? No, I do. I'd rather have a close-up of Maddie, if I'm Brian, being honest. <laughs> Brian's over here, and he's saying, close-up is right. Maddie, are those, no, are those nose hairs on Maddie? See, it's pretty darn close. See, no, I don't want that. I don't want any bears in the cave. I don't want you guys to see if I got any anything going on in there. Guys, we know. Can you guys see if I have any? <laughs> okay, I'm going to wrap this up. Enough okay. nose hair talk, guys. This is a food show. You guys know it. It goes off the rails a lot of the time around here. Yeah, what else is new? <laughs> okay, so I've, I'm going to continue on with our cornbread. That's making quite a bit of noise. Hopefully, you guys can hear me over top of that. I'm going to add in a couple eggs to this recipe and we've got another really cool tip as far as cornbread goes. So imagine it corn essentially like a slightly savory cake. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put you on pause for a second. Wow, oh, oh no. Trumpet Masters letting us know he's watching on Insta, on YouTube, and on Twitch. So maybe there should be like a, wow. you know how there's like first on the grill? Maybe we should have like a, how many places can you watch? Yeah, I know Fritz he's Frank does. Fritz Frank, which is Fritz Frank in the house. I haven't seen him in here, but. Fritz Frank watches on Insta, YouTube, Twitch. So Trumpet Master and Fritz Frank can battle that that out. <laughs> and I think Kathy would be up too, because doesn't Kathy watch it in a number of different areas? Kathy does, but she doesn't want I don't think he watches it on Twitch. I'm Kathy, sure. are you on Twitch? <laughs> okay, we'll plug coming at us with a ten dollar super chat. We'll plug we'll plunk. Thank you so much. Kit Kat sleeping in the window because it's raining over there. We'll plunk's neck of the woods. It just started raining here too. Maybe Kit Kat sent that over. So this goes out to Kit Kat and Will Plunk. Woo! Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much, Will Plunk and Kit Kat. I think it's about time we get another picture of Kit Kat. Yes, I know. We requested cause. that last week too. We gotta we gotta email Will. Yes for that. Yes, we definitely do. Okay, so Evil Llama saying, I need to get you on Twitch. Okay, so Evil Llama's coming for that new title that okay. we haven't even named yet, but he wants it. All right. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get these onto the grill. We are going to get these onto the Napoleon grill that we're using. So if people are like, well, that's not a smoker, Maddie and Kiki, <laughs> how is the smoke flavor going to happen there? The smoke flavor has already been into here. So right now, basically, we're just using the grill as a heat source low and slow to succulent these brisket or these bison burnt ends. Yeah, so when I made these earlier, they were smoked in the Ninja. And they had, the, so like Maddie said, she took the lid off of them and she was like, wow, those are incredibly smoky. So at this point, you don't really need to add in more smoky, like doubly smoked. So now, we're cooking at 300. That's pretty good. We're getting a little hot over there. But good. like I said, we want to have it on the higher end because I want those to bubble away so you can try them. Mm-hmm. Now let's see, Alton saying, Maddie and Kiki make plans to be on Barbecue Boulevard next spring. You have an official invite. An official, official in all caps. Okay. So it doesn't get more official than that. All right, I think we're gonna have to make a trip, honey. We wanted to I last think so. week. Guys, well, I mean, we weren't joking. We said we actually considered it for a heartbeat. And if Kiki's, if Kiki was able to travel right now, I think we would have gone. Oh, I definitely, I, I think, think we so limiting. Gone. I wouldn't go everywhere. Yes, we would have, Hot Tommy, he would pick us up on the way. We'd pick, I think, would you have to pick Hot Tommy up and go? Is that like the route? Yeah, like Hot Tommy, you'd be doubling back. Hot Tommy's like <laughs> under us, I think, isn't he? And then like, we would, oh, okay, no, watch out. S will do not even go near that. I even caught that one the second you, it was out. You know it's bad if Maddie catches it. Let's keep moving. Okay, <laughs> and on a different note, 
We're using, like I said, Uncle Steve's is going both in the burnt ends and in the corn bread because seasons here we've okay, got that is looking phenom already phenom we've got some seasonings just your regular salt baking soda and um, baking powder in here but because we're only adding salt i wanted to add a little bit of the rub in here to give it a little bit a bit of extra flavor okay so hot tommy's saying he no he's driving okay so that that's actually hot tommy's down for a road trip he's not even saying let's fly because he's like let's spend some extra time together you know you like someone if you want to go on a road trip with them i think i could go on a road trip. i with think so too i, I feel think like so we have too. a lot to talk about brian saying what is barbecue boulevards brian that is the place where alton shoots his videos so alton is the dog father's barbecue that's that's like his set that's where he shoots all his videos <laughs> we're all gonna go there next year yes please i want to <laughs> Brian, Brian's like, if I had a nickel for every woman who wanted to pick up hot Tommy. <laughs> All right, so I'm, I'm going to add in now some sour cream. And here's where the tip comes in, guys. Because we're adding sour cream, I, first of all, don't okay, get full me... full fat, full fat. Full fat. So don't get me started if some people don't like sour cream in a cornbread, because that's not a cornbread in my opinion. But we're talking about, right now, everybody knows how expensive groceries are, and wherever you can shave mm -hmm. off some coin when you go to the grocery store that's okay in our books so instead of adding milk plus sour cream why not add a little bit of water because Agreed. you already have the full fat sour cream in there water milk's cream, gonna guys. get water yeah. cream and milk is gonna get lost in there you don't need double the, that that in there it's just it's to me it's it's a little redundant that's now, just me guys on that note we wanted to ask you guys oops does <laughs> anybody have any tips for how to stretch your buck or save some coin when you are at the grocery store. Because I think that we all have little things that we do to, to stretch our buck that we could possibly share with you to do in order to save some coin. I have, a t I have tons of tips, but I will let you know that I messed up the cornbread. Oh, <laughs> what? Kiki is admitting she did something wrong? Well, because I wasn't fully paying attention. I added, like, I was, I'm going wet, dry, wet, dry. Like, it doesn't, I, fine. I, I'm fine with that. So we were adding in some flour. I went, I'm miss, messing this all up. But you know what? A cornbread is very forgiving, so you can do that. Yeah, it's it a, is. It's a very, it's not, even though this is technically baking, it's like the type of baking that is not difficult to do. Anyone, even people who don't bake, you could easily do this. Totally. And I don't really agree with like the two bowl thing for wet and dry anyway. Mix it in, get it on the grill. Now whatever. we have Canucks with fire. That is Martin. Hi, Martin. He's joining us and he's suggesting to buy less and go more. So Martin, do you mean go more to the grocery store? Because I actually was going to say the complete opposite of that. My tip was going to be go one week to the grocery store because the, I don't know about you guys, but the more times that you go into the grocery store in a week, You'll walk in there for one thing and end up with like, at least at the bare minimum, like eight things. So you're saying go one time a week? I'm saying go once a week. So like make a grocery, stick to the grocery list, go once a week. And if you even can take it to the next level, do some menu planning. Yeah. I know a lot of people I've been seeing online. A lot of people don't even go once a week. They go less than that. If you, if they live in a remote area where getting to the grocery store is tricky, some people will really plan ahead. I've seen some videos where people will go like every two weeks, once a month, like when they live these in the northern Canada like location, and they'll eat all the fresh stuff first and then start to work their way through the frozen stuff. That's a good call, yeah. Now Alton just said, go, yeah, he's agreeing. He's saying go less, but also wear a big coat. So he's suggesting, uh -oh. wear, I don't want to know what he's doing with that coat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, can, Martin is saying, no, get what you need for three days and use it up. I agree with that, Martin. That's that actually, actually prevents waste. Yes, I he's saying to do that in order to prevent waste. So I get it. Evil Llama is suggesting a great one. Any parents in the house, he's saying, leave the kids at home. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. It's, it's, that's so true. Um, hi, Four Seasons Barbecue. Nice to see you. Hi, Ron. Oh, he's saying, my girls still haven't seen me. Ron's going all cap. So we do see that, Ron. We see ya. We're happy you're here all right so trumpet master saying i typically buy um i, I miss up some of it he's using five to ten dollar grocery store um gift cards Ooh. as like stocking suffers that's the vibe i was getting i missed Ooh, that's it a I missed great some idea. Of it, but... and ralph was saying his wood fire just arrived <gasps> ralph congrats that's awesome okay ralph you're gonna want to make this corporate then because it's about to go in there actually honey can you get me preheating yes i will i will get you preheating 
heated. We have Sammy in the house at 702 in the kitchen. They're saying, agreed, they always want everything and don't he eat half of it anyways. That yeah, would be like, so annoying. Leave the kitties at home. I agree. Evil Mama, that was a phenomenal tip. Yeah, I can't even imagine that. I don't know how I don't know how parents shop with their kids. Like, now, I will get that prepped for you, honey, but I don't want to miss this one by Will Plunk. He's saying one eight ounce jar makes thirty-eight cups of broth. So he's coming at us saying go bouillon instead of um like uh, instead of actual stock. So really that is a very good tip. I really like one Will Plunk because you're right, it's still flavor, it's still delicious, and you that you can really stretch that out. You know what? Along those same lines. If you are looking, if you you if you're one of these people that use a lot of stock, which we are, I, I love using stock broth, things like that in different this, um in different recipes. Then try a whole chicken, buy a whole chicken, whether it's like a rotisserie chicken or a regular whole raw chicken, and then make the make the chicken eat the meat in different meals, yes. and then use the the carcass as stock. Make are we stock going wood fire? Actually, no, we didn't. I don't want, yeah, okay, I don't let's, want let's not do wood fire. Let's I'm not in the do... mood for wood fire. Okay, I'm going to add this up to 30 minutes just in case. Okay. Yeah, so if you make a stock with the carcass, that's super easy to do. Like Maddie said, water's free. So if you literally just, a lot of the times if you look up a recipe for stock, there's like carrots in it and celery and all this stuff. But in my opinion, you don't have to do that. Just the, st the carcass and water. Agreed. That's and... just flavorful enough. Now we have yeah. Noble Premium Bison joining us. Hey, guys. They're coming at us with a phenomenal tip, and they're saying, make a mess of meatballs at one go and freeze them. Yes. yes that is such a good tip because that's, that's very helpful on multiple levels because meatballs are one of those dishes that you can stretch. Get yourself some ground meat. Add, we always like to do some oats to stretch yeah. those out. So that will make your typical package of ground meat go from maybe just serving four people to serving way more than four people. Plus they're coming at us and saying, freeze them. Yes. And like, that's again, that's helpful on multiple levels because then you just have meatballs at the ready. Yeah, totally. That works on multiple levels. Great tip guys. Yeah, and no Matt is saying, I switched to bouillon and that's all I use now. Yeah. That's really great. And you know what too? It saves the weight of your groceries too. Instead of buying those big cartons of stock, if you get the little cubes, that's a fraction of the weight. I don't know about you, but I'm carrying in groceries. Agre I know. That's another one. Now, Will was just saying, do we have, I didn't I didn't catch the brand, um, but a specific brand of bouillon. But I don't really, I'm not really particular when it comes to like bouillon brand. It's always on sale. It's another great tip. Yep. Go but, with what's, buy what's on sale. But also make sure you read the ingredients because um, stock or cubes or anything like that, there's a lot of tricky things hiding in there. So if you do have any food allergies, you have to make sure you're you're looking at the ingredients. Yes. If you want to be avoiding certain things like sugar or too much salt, those can sometimes have a lot of sodium in them. Quite a bit yep. of sodium. Now, Hot Tommy's saying, man, Instagram is so clear. Okay, so guys, that is also because there's there we're having some issues on YouTube today, but normally YouTube is super clear as well, but we're happy to have you guys over on Insta. I love that people are joining us on both. Check out my cornbread, everybody. It's it's incredible, it's incredible. I love that you put on some more rub on the top because yeah. we all eat with our eyes first. And I don't know about you guys, but a little dusting of rub on the top of anything looks good. Yeah. Hi, Alex. Uh, hi, Tommy. So, look, I guess they, they can see detail. Hot Tommy's like, Maddie has paint in her hair. Good <laughs> eye, Hot Tommy. <laughs> That's so funny. So, Alex Griffiths is just joining us. Hi, Alex. Good to see you. He's saying, Hi, Alex. What a great question. We are doing bison burnt ends today and a cornbread because those two things go hand in hand with one another. Now, Alex. Um, you haven't been to our live before. First of all, we're happy to have you. Thank you for joining us today. But we always like to do things that people can make easily at home on the grill. So we have two grills going back there today. We have the Napoleon grill and we have the, um, oh, okay. And speaking of that, we have the wood fire that just told us it's preheated and ready to roll. Okay, so I'm going to guess that because we're doing the cornbread Ninja. The Ninja has a way of cooking things extremely quickly. So my hope is that we will have the cornbread 100% done. So when Maddie gives it a taste, she can get the bison burn ends and the cornbread together. Because that's going to be a good bite. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to try. I love that combination together. 
that's going to be delicious. Now, as this is going off, guys, we still have cheers for the weekend, so we're going to get to that. But who's ready to take a little dive into the big bowl of questions? I okay, am. Kiki's raising her hand on that. I'm punching myself in the head. I'm excited. I got way too excited. Okay, well. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's going on in the big bowl of questions. I'm reaching in. I'm going in too. Let's see. Okay, no, I'm not in yet. Instagram. There we go. If there you want to see the cool graphics that Barbecue Pops puts together, because if you're probably wondering why we're reaching in into nowhere here, head over <laughs> They're to. Like, why are you guys doing that into the air? <laughs> Looks like I'm trying to tickle you. <laughs> oh, don't start with the tickling. No, sorry. Do not start with the tickling. Not you know, tickle tickling. in the kitchen, even though we. Okay, I that just. I thought you were coming at me. No. <laughs> Kathy said, yeah, I, I buy soup base, works great. So that is a fantastic tip. One of the tips that I was gonna offer for money saving um, tips and tricks in the, the grocery store is overlook the discounted produce area. Yes. I love, love that. You can get really great stuff that says, buy now, use to me 30% off, 50% off, whatever. And when you're in the butcher area, sometimes depending on what grocery store you're at, They'll do it per category of meat, or sometimes they'll have it all in one area where it says used tonight or discounted. You can really get some good deals there. Freeze them, use them tonight, whatever you want, but you can save so much, mm -hmm. especially if you have a big family. Like Now, can... people are noticing the details over here. <laughs> awesome eggs over here. He's like, is there a chain on this thing? <laughs> yes, there is, guys, because the studio stays like this so we that's why we like to make sure everything remains here because i don't know about you guys but i've seen been seeing a lot of people not so much in our neighborhood but closer to the downtown toronto area where people's cars are getting stolen right outside of their driveway yes yeah, theft is an issue yes <laughs> it is and so we can't be too careful around here hi fritz frank nice fritz to frank, see you where, i knew i can always sense when fritz frank ain't in the house well, he's in now he's in now fritz frank you came just in time because we're about to read out a question. Scotty saying he loves bison. Amen, Scotty. Scotty, hi, Scotty. Scotty, FYI, this recipe is already on the website if you want to check it out. It is phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so phenomenal. guys, this is the question. Okay. Oh, okay. See, Martin just said my car got got. Martin, are you trying to say got taken two weeks ago? Because see, it's, it's happening so much. I just oh. found out. Um, someone else that just had their vehicle stolen literally right out of their driveway. And it was, How? It How was are people so, doing that? Guys, get this. It's actually very terrifying. This is a little PSA, I guess, for everybody. Don't keep your keys near your front door. So you know how most keys Who now have that? the fault? I do. Actually, I got to move them now because I just said them. But I keep them near the front door. And what this person was doing was there's some kind of device that they have figured out that they can access the key fobs. So they'll go over to. I saw this on a video the other day. They go over to your the front of your house with this like device and like put it near the front door and it activates the key fob and the car turns on and they can drive away with the vehicle. So they're not breaking in and entering. They're not doing anything. They're literally just driving off with your car. Weird. It scared me to my very core. core. Imagine seeing in your front camera your vehicle get taken by something. No, that is really crazy. I know. So, so I was thinking like the vintage like coat hanger lifting up the, no, the lock. No, that's an old man skin. They don't do that anymore. They do it the new tech technical way. So guys, little PSA for everybody. We all got to not keep our keys for the door. Okay, that's a slow this took a terrifying. I don't, I don't know what's going to be on a live app. Alex first who just joined probably like back -y show. That is that is super scary. They're like, I'm getting bison tips. I'm getting car theft tips. Wow. <laughs> okay, so guys, are we ready for the question from the big bowl of questions? Honey, are you ready for I'm this? totally ready. Okay, <laughs> this is a fun one. What is the dumbest way you have been hurt? Oh, this is a good one. What is the dumbest way that you have been hurt? So are we talking emotional hurt? Are we talking about broken bone hurt? See, I went right to physical. Yeah, me too, but it's whatever way you want to take it. What is the dumbest way you have been hurt? That is a really good one. Okay, so Narrow I will, it down. I will <laughs> tell you guys, Kiki and I, we both do this. I have no clue why we do this, and maybe you guys can let us know if you do this too. Sometimes, like, we lose sense of the size of our body, and we will be walking and, like, crash our arm into, like, the wall or something. Yeah, we and both it, do that. And it hurts, and it's dumb, and we both do it. Yeah. 
or it's like the you're walking by and like you hit your hip off the counter we do and like it really really hurts yeah i did that in the girls studio recently i was trying to close the door and smashed my arm against it i'm like why did i just like hip check the door i don't get oh evil llama's got a good one what leg those oh stepping on like that's like one of the most painful feelings yeah that is bad brian saying swung out over a ravine on a vine that i didn't check it totally dropped me at the peak of the swing oh my goodness brian did i walk down but yeah oh that would hurt okay i'm just gonna take a little look here on, on the burn end <laughs> see where we're at and fritz frank is saying he was hurt, hurt deeply peaking and she hates queen <laughs> can i have that your room man Sorry. Oh my goodness! All right, so our burn ends are coming along nicely. Look at this, honey. The butter is melting. That is looking fantastic. The flavors. And that's because oh. we are cooking at 300, like we said. We're trying to get it done a little bit quicker in today's episode. Yes. But normally we let that go. That's something that you can just let go for hours and hours. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. Okay, I'm just gonna shut that back up though because we do want them to stew in there. Looking, looking fine, honey. Looking right. real fine. I want to check on the cornbread, but it's too early. Oh, definitely not. Definitely, right. definitely not. Okay, please make me a drink. Although okay. I probably, won't, can't, probably can't have that one, but make you it You can't anyway. have this one, but guys, are you ready for cheers to the weekend? Because I want to try this one. I'm I so am. excited to try this one. You got to explain who who is the um, culprit of this one. Yes, this one is courtesy of a request from Mr. Hot Tommy himself. Yeah, I think he requested this last week. He did. This one's going to be good. Maddie, explain to me what's in this one it sounds awesome i haven't had this or even heard of it before hot tommy requested it so, so hot tommy has requested a french martini which sounds very fancy but i was like let's look into what that is and basically it's just vodka raspberry liqueur and um pineapple juice and i was like oh my Ooh. goodness those flavors that sounds super refreshing yes so hot tommy thank you for the suggestion and guys on that note let us know if you guys have any great suggestions on beverages because that's how we learn new things Eva llama um requested a long island iced tea a couple weeks ago and it became like one of our favorite one yes. of my favorite drinks but if if possible can you please start to request the hot drinks because it's about to get really cold up here <laughs> Hot Tommy's saying, oh, yeah, Lance is saying cheers all. Oh, yeah. Now, Russell's saying, it didn't start with a salad. Looking at a beautiful woman and hitting a lamp post on my bicycle. Oh, my god. <laughs> that goodness. is not a good way to get hurt, Russell. <laughs> you know what? I'm so guilty of um, cutting myself in the kitchen, and I feel so dumb every you time. You are. You are so, oh. honey, you cut yourself off. All right. so, the thing is, so, no, that's what ends up happening. Get those wingies out of the way. I'm so bad for that. Let's see here. Uh, Square Table Degenerates, nice to see you. Hi, Square Table Degenerates. Hot Tommy saying you're going to love it. I think we are going to love it, honey. Oh, if this comes from Hot Tommy, which it does, I'm, I'm going to say this is a guarantee. So we just so far have some ice going in and then we're gonna go in with some vodka and guys we're doing something different this week so you're st typically supposed to add raspberry liqueur to this but we had this this item that we actually use in our coffee sometimes and it's this stuff right here oh, i forgot we put that in our coffee do you remember that blew our minds and we, and, were, and like, we were like gonna stop doing this because yes, it's a sugar it's basically just like a sugary syrup that's flavored very potently with raspberry it's dangerous yes. it's lethal that stuff and so of course you could use you can definitely use um raspberry liqueur but we were like let's use this stuff because the flavor on it oh, it's very goodness. pungent too you don't need a lot of it yes alton is saying next week make a flaming dr pepper <gasps> what, what is that what is that alton flaming anything come on that sounds really cool i haven't had a dr pepper in decades literally decades okay but let's do a flaming one no that's reminding me of <coughs> actually <coughs> Remember from Excuse The Simpsons, me. was it called like a flaming mo? Yeah. That's what, and that always made me want to try that so bad. You know what we should do? We, Maddie and I were talking about for the lives. We love, like, the, if we can get ourselves organized enough to have a theme. Oh, oh my goodness. Sorry. Sorry. You got to smell this. 
Oh my goodness, why does that smell so good? I know, this. you only need like a little bit of it, but I'm just gonna put like a touch, a touch more. Okay, so I was thinking on the topic of themes, Simpsons. That's cool. There's like 10 million foods that they mentioned that I would love to make. And I think it would be so cool to, um, to <laughs> barbecue mama. What? Key, you're only three decades old. <laughs> Cause I said I haven't had a Dr. Pepper in decades. <laughs> Yeah, that still counts for everything. Yeah, but that mama. is after. I, th I don't think you had. You haven't had it in decades. No, I haven't. I'm not a huge pop drinker, though. Like, yeah, I but flaming, I'd give it a go. Four seasons say you're only 2.5 decades old. Okay, someone trying to get some brownie points. Come on. That's, that's so that sweet. Is very sweet. Now, We're going to get brownie points with Kiki by saying those things. Okay, so hang on a, a hot second, guys, because I'm still on some cornbread. I don't know if it's the cornbread or the burnt ends. Okay, I'm on pause. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the burnt ends. Uh, I think the cornbread. it's a combination of both. All right, let's, let's check it. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness gracious. Look yes. at how good. Okay, so I will have to show Instagram after. You guys can't see what's going on back here. Okay, let's get that lid down right. because I've been that's, told. that's almost going to be ready. Okay, sorry. But let's. let's, let's Let's get that lid down because with the ninja, it's like done in like two seconds. Yes, and hopefully that will be done. We still got 20 minutes. So I'm sure it can. We can make it happen, honey. Okay, so then now we're going in with some pineapple juice, and this is just your good old standard canned pineapple. So sometimes when you hear French martini, you should be like, "Ooh, that's like this like pretentious, like fancy kind of beverage." But I don't. Nothing is not pretentious like good old canned fruit okay <laughs> okay so alton is clarifying and saying a flaming dr pepper is a flaming cocktail and it's he said <clears throat> excuse me he said it's supposed to taste like a dr pepper without actually having dr pepper in it cool very cool i always am mystified by the fact that somehow you can get things to taste like certain drinks scoggett saying dr pepper and big red is the major soft drinks of texas interesting what's a big red i don't know but i want to try it it sounds if i were to guess it sounds cinnamony yeah oh possibly why? i don't know why it does no hot tommy he's saying it should be two shots of vodka <laughs> And that is true, Hot Tommy, but, okay, you know what? Because it's Hot Tommy, I'm, I'm going in with two. And I I'm think in order to fill two. that this up, is making you a, This it. is a big drink now. This is a really big drink. I added a lot of pineapple juice in there. Why not, though? Uh, let's see here. Trumpet Master saying Disarono in Corona tastes like Dr. Pepper. Is that <gasps> true? Ooh. In Corona, like beer? That's a, a, how, it's so weird, but, like, different flavors you know what? combined. Like, the thought of that makes me want to... Oh. <laughs> That sounds like a recipe for vomit. You mixing weird things together. I don't know about that. <gasps> yes, Kathy. She's like, ooh, you got to do Mad Men as a theme. Ooh. Absolutely, guys. We could take, we could go there with fashion, beverages. Ew, but then cool the food. And things. Yeah, jello salad. I was just going to say, then we're hitting a jello. Remember that sidecar thing we made? We are making, we are doing that. We are absolutely doing that. I wish we could do that in the summer where we we could actually wear cool stuff. Yeah. We can't do that when it's like cold. But yeah, you know that's going to include like mayo, tuna, and gelatin yeah. of some kind. I, I'm here for it. Kathy, I don't know why this is. suggestion. Yeah. <laughs> that is really fun. All right, let's take a look at what this beverage looks like because I don't know about you guys, but. Ooh, big red. Okay, so I was off. Big red is strawberry liquid <gasps> crack in a bottle. <laughs> That's an awesome thing. You're you reading that in such a serious way. You're like, mm, liquid crap. Okay. <laughs> He's like, it has flavor profiles of a hint of crap. Oh, okay. <laughs> Drinking. Okay. Again, Alex, our new member, if he's watching, he's probably like, what is this show? That sounds really good, though. I All right, think... guys, let's take a look at what this looks like, okay? Are you, honey, are you ready to see this? I'm ready. Let's is it going to be a little, be a little bit pink because... <gasps> It's slightly pink. Ooh. Slightly, slightly pink. Okay, actually, that was the perfect amount of liquid. Okay, I'm going to request. You told me that you weren't going to do this, but I'm going to request that you put pineapple slice in there, please. Okay, well, Kiki I wants to do that. garnish, so you guys know Kiki gets what Kiki wants around here, so yeah. we're going to do that. But we're also going to do a lemon twist because a lemon twist, I don't know about you guys, but garnish is a lot of uh, what's, when you order a cocktail, in my opinion. It's so true. I, I can't stand when you order any drink, non-alcoholic or alcoholic, and it comes to the table and it just looks like that. I my know. Mind, like, I'm spending $15 on this the, thing. Yeah. Oh, 15 These days, this would be like $20. Seriously. Well, maybe not because it doesn't have the technical. It doesn't have very liquor in there, but maybe this one would be 15 This is like a knockoff version of the French market. <laughs> but it's true. This looks gorgeous as it is. It needs this 
So guys, this is very simple. This is what's known as a channel knife and that's what's gonna get, we're gonna take off um, a row of the lemon zest. So not the row, you don't wanna get the rind in here because what's gonna be bitter, we don't want that flavor in there, but we're just Ooh. gonna get, yeah, look at how nice that gets, that gets, you can take it along as long as you want to make like your the twist as long as you want. Very cool. Now, what do the other grooves do? Okay, let's do that. Let's try. Well, it. I want to know. Okay, so this one, we just did that. Okay, so we're just gonna curl that up. Very cool. Oh Marty my goodness! So why do I call you in? <laughs> Look at her. Who's gonna take the time to do that? Look. Look at that! That's so cute. Excuse now, me, who's going to take the time to do that? Or that's what cocktail making is all about. That's going to unfurl the minute you put it in there, honey. Yeah, but you're just going to drop her in. It unfurled. Come on. Come on. That does look beautiful. That does, really does look gorgeous. Now, okay. I can smell the burn ends and it's driving me wild. Now, Evil Llama is being like, I'm. <sighs> this is how I'm reading this. He's like, I can do that with a regular knife. He's oh, like, you don't need this fancy tool. <laughs> Okay, and then Keith, you're saying you want to see what Try this side one. does. Okay, yeah. so guys, I'll show the knife up close here. Okay, so this is the part that we just used. That's what's known as like the channel knife. And then there's this part up here. So let's see what that looks like. All right. This is going to be a lot of garnish on here. I don't think you can ever have too much lemon, though, in my opinion. Agreed. Uh, Brian is talking about a mixologist competition show on Netflix. Yeah, Murdy, I feel like you need to apply for that show. <laughs> Because Ma Murdy mixes okay, up. Okay, this, this part, not so good. No? Are you giving I up think on you got to put a little bit more elbow grease in it than I did, but <laughs> we're just, we just have some little strips lame. here. Yeah, that one's a little bit lame, but we'll throw her in there. Okay, we please throw give, her me, in there. give me a... Kiki saying she wants a pineapple on there. Who wants a pineapple? We've opened that can. We may as well use some. And like, speaking of Mad Men and like a 50s theme, that, I feel like canned fruit is like 50s. Especially oh, missing... like... The maraschino cherry. yes pineapple rings which that's what this is like that screams like vintage those are so good why are those so addicting there's something about putting pineapple in a can that makes it so much more appetizing okay so you're saying just going with this whole it what? look at how beautiful okay. it is mm, if it, excuse me what i guess you want a huge pine actually no that does no that does look good what <gasps> look the lemon zest is in the middle i don't know why you're Quite Guys, here. okay, I take it back 100%. Trumpet master saying pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that looks good. Pineapple. <laughs> you were like, mm, not that, that looks good. I take it back. That looks incredible. Oh, yeah. So, honey, let's get Lance is with me. Lance is into it. He's like, I love pineapple. Okay, so we're going to cheers and we're going to take a look at some people's pets because we got a hospital this along because I would like you to try those burnt ends. Me too. So we had um, a little thing going where we were asking people to show us pictures of their pets in their sports oh. gear. Oh my goodness gracious. Is that so good? Oh my goodness, Hot Tommy, you you were not wrong. All right, let's see who we got. We got Mila, <gasps> we got Sienna, and we got Elvira. Oh, oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. Look so at her sweet. little jersey. <laughs> and barbecue pops, does it go? Here we go, Steelers. Here we go. How do you that know just this? Looks, I'm just guessing. Is that how it goes, Barbecue Pops? Yes, rocked it. No, that does seem pretty standard, that tune yeah. you oh, just said. Oh, oh my, he's like, mm, actually, I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm the queen of all the sports things. <laughs> okay, guys, get yourself a French martini. Hot Tommy wasn't wrong. That actually tastes incredible. CJ. Hi, CJ. Hi, CJ. How are you? CJ, you oh. came to a great part because we are about to check on the burn ends. We've got bison burn ends going. We've got a ninja wood fire. So I'm going to see what that looks like. And awesome A saying Kokoa is three years old today. Oh my Happy goodness. Happy birthday to Kokoa. That little baby's got a lot of life left in him. He's Aww. only a three-year-old little baby. Okay, so check these out. Oh, goodness gracious, yes. I will goodness show. Goodness gracious, yes. I'll show you Instagram. They are. Just delicious juices. Also, dear goodness, Hot Tommy, that double shot in there. Whew, she's hitting me. She is hitting me. Already? <laughs> See, and you're telling me Whoa. that pineapple wasn't a good idea. No, it was. It absolutely, look at that. I think it's gorgeous. If I got served that at a restaurant, I would be extremely pleased. Me, me as well. Me as it's well. It's beautiful. Okay, so we've got the cornbread happening. 10 minutes left on the timer, which means it's been in there for 20 minutes. I think it could be close to done. All right, so.
I want to be check it, do it. And then we also have another um, segment to do in lieu of milestones. Okay, let's, check, let's, let's do our other segment and then we'll check it. All right, Maddie's trying to control the show all of a sudden. Okay, so what with the other the other segment that we're doing? All right, so in lieu of milestones this week, it is Remembrance Day in Canada and known as Veterans Day in the States, Memorial Day. So we wanted to pay tribute to um, everybody that is that has served in the war and Kathy in particular sent us pictures of her dad and her grandfather. That is Kathy's dad, Dave, and Kathy's dad, Alex, or Kathy's grandfather, Alex. And Kathy also let us know that she um, has named both of her girls after her dad know, and her grandfather. that is so sweet. So I love that. Look at their photo. That's so beautiful. Handsome men. Yeah, very, oh, very, very, very handsome, handsome men. But yes, today's definitely, it's Remembrance Day. It's definitely a day to be grateful for for the freedom that we all have and mm -hmm. to thank those that served for us so that we can have the freedom that we have today. Yeah. Okay, so let's check out our cornbread. Oh, I think we could be there. Let me just, oh. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little poke. I think we're there, guys. Okay, Kiki's getting in there with her hands. I don't, I don't, I think we're there. Let me show Instagram. I'm gonna take this off. Eva Llama saying sirens in the background are coming for you, ladies. Guys, if you guys could smell the wonderful smells going on over there, they could be coming for that. Check that out, everybody. That looks spectacular. 20 minutes, ready to roll. Oh my goodness. I can tell it's always ready. I can always tell, you could do the toothpick. Let's just put that off to the side of the touch. Yep. You could do the toothpick test if you really wanted to, but I, I always just give it a poke. If, oh, if it springs back, you don't want to put your finger through it like I just did. <laughs> but if it springs back when you poke it, it's ready. So that means it's ready. All right. I don't know. Well, I don't think you brought out any utensils to give me a little taste of this. Or the or the bird. You know what? I'm just gonna get in there with my hands. No, 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 honey, it's too hot. Who is? It's too not hot. Well, get in, get in there with this. Okay, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. You can taste this anyway. Okay, okay this has let's to cool get off. this. Ooh, this. Okay, but this has to cool off because we don't want to. You in order for the cornbread just to come out in one piece. You have to cool it in the pan for about 10 minutes before you try to dislodge. Now, tell barbecue pop, that was cool. That was really cool. And Air Scoggett saying thank you to all the veterans for their service. Nothing but respect for all of them. I totally agree, guys. And obviously, that's what today is all about. But it's great to be grateful for that every single day. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so. So I get this off to the side okay. and I'm going to just dive in there for a little piece of that. Just You're diving in here? Hit. Yeah, I'm going right in there. Oh, I didn't think I said not to yet. Okay, not you not yet. Not yet. You get the right, first hands off so we can show Insta. All right, hang on. So <laughs> awesome. A saying, use the Kiki hand spatula. <laughs> now we have Chris joining us. Navy Volker, he's saying thank you. Yes, we all need to be thank you today, guys. Because of because of Re um, Remembrance Day, ooh, ooh, okay, honey, do not drop that. Could be that could have been quite dangerous. All right, so we want to drop that. No, so in if we had more time on these lives, we could be with you guys for the next two hours. These would be cooked down a little bit more. So they are a little here, honey. If you want to, let me show this up to Instagram here. So the, here's what they look like so far. There, you can you'll notice that there is still a lot of liquid in here, but that is because. These are a low and slow labor of love. You don't want to um, rush something like burnt ends. They have to stew in these flavors for another, an additional two hours at 250. But for the purposes of Maddie try, trying can't wait to get in here. I can't wait to get in here, but guys, we also like saying that this is a great recipe to make when you're having people over because you just put that in the oven because it's art. The smoke flavor has already happened. The the really the smoke process has already happened so you put that in the oven you take that out to serve to people and their their mind is blown because they're like oh my goodness it's a flavor explosion and a lot of people have had typical burnt ends but they haven't had bison burnt ends yeah oh my goodness I, I have yet to see this could be the first bison burnt ends on the internet now cj just sent a 20 dollar super chat cj thank you so much okay this is cooling right now but let's <laughs> give cj a round of applause honey thank you CJ, so much thank cj thank you so much woo cj <laughs> thank you very much cj that's very nice of you okay so guys i'm gonna go in and give this a little taste test for everybody because i think this is cooled down now so okay. let's just see what this tastes like here i like With your choice of utensils <laughs> oh my goodness even that bit of tongue that's still quite succulent i can tell I can tell. Perfect amount of smoke. 
what else did you use for this? What kind of wood? Apple. Mm. Straight up apple. Especially with the apple cider. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do like a, t I, that's what I, that was my goal here, is the apple cider along with the apple pellets. Oh my goodness. Now I'm going to go in for a little chunk of the cornbread because guys, this combination, if you're ever like, what do you serve with burnt ends? You got to serve cornbread. Now everybody has their corn. Ooh, a little bit of a kick to it. Is that spicy? This, I think it, it's very mm, peppery. Uncle Steve's. Yeah, it is very, very peppery. So that is where you're getting the kick. Is it too much of a no, kick? Did no, no, it's okay. perfect. It, but it does have a little bit of a kick to it. Okay. Now everybody has their own cornbread <laughs> recipe. But this one, I'm, I'm gonna get you a chunk off. To, yeah, okay, you get me a okay. chunk, honey. You get me a chunk. Now this is hurting me because I don't. You're ruining my masterpiece with, with just like here. I'll get you a teeny. Oh, yeah, look at this. The top part. Okay. And look at how. Oh my goodness. Look at how hot that okay, is. Okay, that looks scalding hot. Trumpet master is taking off. He's saying, "Y'all take care. Gotta go. Happy Friday. Thank you, trumpet master, for joining us." Okay. Oh my, my goodness. My mouth is watering about that <laughs> right now. That's gonna be a good combo. Bison burst ends and cornbread. I'm just trying now, to You can also right serve a nice coleslaw on the side of it, on, on the side of this. And coleslaw is one of those great inexpensive recipes. Yes, definitely. Cabbage is even during these wild times, cabbage is also one of those vegetables that seems to be priced on the lower end side of things. Mm -hmm. And if you wanted to, you can do we added a lot of fixins into the cornbread, like the pickled jalapenos, the onions, whatever. But there's absolutely no reason why you couldn't just make it on its own. Just mm -hmm. straight up cornbread. And then which, which that's like four ingredients. The traditional type of cornbread. Exactly. Okay, so honey, I blew that for you, but you might want to make Evo a little. Llama's coming at us with a phenomenal suggestion that I ain't going to pass up. He's saying, dunk it. It's oh. getting dunked. Oh, my goodness. That was going to be so good. Oh Great job, goodness. Evo Llama. Oh, look at the look at the overhead cam. The sky cam's getting that. Oh, my goodness. That is going to be so guys, good. You got those bison guys. juices in there. Oh. Evo Llama. Oh, my goodness. Genius, absolutely genius. I'm going in. You know what? I don't know if I want to continue to cook these down. Those that those juices are worth its weight in gold. Evil Llama just came up with a new dish. Oh my goodness gracious. I feel like you could just serve that together. Cornbread. It's, like it's like a buttery au jus. <laughs> it's like a burnt end au jus. Oh my mm. good heavens. The apple cider. Is that so good? Oh, I'm in heaven right now. I put of a pineapple thing. <laughs> Give me something. Guys, thank you guys so much for joining. <laughs> Damn, that looks good. Why is dunking so good? Why is dunking so good? Why are these so good? Canned fruit, baby. Canned fruit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Eva Lama say always done cornbread here. Yeah, that is very, that's a really good tip. I'm gonna have to remember that one. Now, guys, thank you so much for joining us. We had a couple technical difficulties. Barbecue Pops is on it. You guys don't know this. Keeps him up at night. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> he is working on it for us. We're not gonna let this happen again. We're gonna work on it so next week everything will move smoothly. But thank you guys so much for sticking with us. And we'll be, we'll be coming back to you guys next Friday, same time, same place. Yeah, if you guys are looking for the recipe, like I said, it's already on the website. And check the Noble Premium Bison page on Instagram for a where to buy in your area. And you can figure out how you yes. can get bison yourself. Give them a follow because we have another awesome giveaway coming up. This could be winning the next bo big box of bison. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Have a great weekend, everybody. Have a great weekend. Yeah. Bye.